Hi there, listeners, and welcome to another episode of the Captain's Horror Meltdown. My name is Cap. My what is my name? <laughs> Um, I'm going to call you Chitata. Chitata? My name is Chitata and I will be your captain <laughs> on this journey. And I'm joined, <laughs> as always, by John, uh, who is the... Uh, not many people know this, oh. but he is the ship's um, squid fisherman. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's quite but, a specific thing to be catching. But it's very, very apt for this evening's... Uh, episode because it is quite squiddy just like the guy in the film that we're going to talk about you have you don't know what squid is and you actually call squid octopus um, yes, I, 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 know, I, I'd rather, I'd rather feel comfortable with that it's like you're, you're dissing my, my knowledge of marine <laughs> it's life almost, uh, it's almost like a, it's almost like a dyslexia but for fish, it's fish legs here. <laughs> Try it. What's that? Um, cuttlefish? Uh, no. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get to uh, the uh, the Squid-off misnaming lips. of um, sea life. Yes, yes. Later in the podcast, yeah, it's a problem. Um, a problem. But uh, yes, uh, welcome to the episode. It's it feels like it's been a while since we last recorded, but yeah, I don't think it has. Actually. It hasn't actually. I think it's it's uh, since the time before we last recorded. I think it was a long time, and now it just seems a bit confusing in general. Yes. Um, although we are in generally, well, we're quite confused in general. Well, we in a normal year we were quite confused. Yeah, it's even worse now. Completely out the window. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about you because you obviously have like kind of longer stints of uh, doing jobs and stuff. But I, I did a wedding on out on Saturday, and I was just like, I had no idea what was going on, what I was exactly meant to be doing, because the wedding days are kind of different now as well. They've all got things happening. Everything's kind of shorter and the time frames are weird. I just got. I think it didn't really help. That I had to drive like two hours to get there, so I was actually quite comfortable just driving. And listening to the radio and uh, actually listening. And then it was, was a surprise when you got there and you're yeah, like, fuck, I've uh, got to work. Yeah, totally. It's like, what the fuck oh, is going shit. on here? Uh, I was talking, I hadn't driven for two hours in ages. I mean, a fucking ages. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I actually got there. I was like, holy shit, I need to actually do something. And it was, it was a confusing time. I, 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 this, obviously you've kind of had a bit more work, but did you feel that the first time you kind of went back after the old lockdown sh- shenanigans? Uh, yes, in a way, but like I like I I went back. I had a period of prep before we got in touch with Coleman, ah, right, okay. so I had some time to sort of think about what was going on first. Well, my period of prep was um was two uh, hours driving. I was, was kind of test listening to our other podcast uh, latest <laughs> episode, the Drunk Review, which I'm going to be honest for an hour and a half went particularly well, and then we went for a pee break and then came back, and the whole thing just goes fucking tumbling downhill so quickly. <laughs> Um, so I was like, oh, I can probably, I can probably put this out and cut. And then it was like, the last half hour, I was like, this is the ramblings of... If you've not listened to our other podcast, it's called The Drunk Review. And it, well, it does what it says in the tin, I guess. Yeah, we talk about a film while drinking. You're getting increasingly more drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm making shining examples of ourselves. So uh, if you've got a lot of time in your hands, which, to be fair, you might in this uh, this, this juncture in our lives, uh, check yes, out the well, drunk review. We're going to date this in a second. Um, yes. Well, let's date it now. Let's well, let's date it, it now. Go for it, man. We are on... So we are on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. The 18th? Okay. 19th. I don't know. Let me have a look. Uh, uh, 18th. It's the 18th. Why does my watch say 19th? I've not changed oh, it. Oh, you've been, tra- been time traveling again. Why have I been time traveling? Did you see anything interesting? What happens tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. More people die, I guess. Uh, somewhere in the world, yeah. Yeah. Um, I th- Why have I not changed my watch? Maybe I have been time traveling. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having quite strange dreams of late. 
Well, where are the early dreams? Exactly. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do the dreams involve? Time traveling. How long has my phone been? At, my watch been out? Because are you meant to be at work now? October has <laughs> thirty-one days, isn't it? After so I shouldn't have had to change it. Well, confusing times, obviously. Um, I mean, God. Uh, you look so Wednesday, so the eighteenth of November. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> What uh, we are... Uh, 2020, we've got to say. Always no. important. Always important. Always important. And everything's gone to shit again. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Well, kind of not for me, but just because I live in a tier two area. But a large percentage of Scotland has gone into tier four. Yes, over two million people, which is stretching for half the population. Yeah. Jesus. So half actually, the population are in a very small amount of the country, though. It's, Scotland's a fucking wild place when you really think about it. Oh, yeah. We could get a lot more people in this place. Oh, we could be... Honestly, you can get rakes of folk in this country. But, you know... Yeah. But we don't want any more, to be frank. <laughs> um, we're quite happy with it being, you know, quite sparse. It's it's one of our unique selling points. As as as, we, as Billy Conley once do... said, it's like, you know, you come to Scotland and its best asset is it's almost fucking empty. Yes, yes, totally. <laughs> Although uh, we actually need lots of new people, don't we? We do, we do, because we've got we've got a declining population and there's not enough people to do the jobs. <laughs> Although to be fair, maybe lots of the jobs have disappeared now. Um, hmm. But yes, uh, yes, we are. That's true. We're definitely a country that uh, is a fan of people coming into the country from other countries. Um, when are we? When when are we locked down until? Uh, well, it's, it's roughly mostly the west of Scotland. They are locked down until I think the eleventh of December. Shit, it's three, quite a long three weeks. Down. I think it is. Is it three weeks? Okay, something like that. Yeah. Fucking hell. So from Got Friday. So from Friday. Um, okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're going to be able to, and I don't start. I just finished a job. I don't start my next job until January. Oh, so, fucking tremendous! Uh, so we're going to be able to get lots of recording on. Ah, oh, you lucky bastards. Yes. Or not. You lucky, lucky listeners. <laughs> you get to listen to us. I do have to say that we were highly, highly organised at one point, uh, and we had a massive, what seemed like a huge list of films that we were working our way through. Yeah. And tonight we've reached... The last one. That The last link in the chain, and we don't have any others lined up. I've, we'll got, an I've got an idea. I've got an oh, idea. I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah. I think we've, we've, we've talked about it a couple of times, but I think we should go for it this time. Okay. But we'll get to that at the end of the, end of the game. Right, okay. <clears throat> well, yeah, uh, have you done anything decent this week? Other, I mean, you've finished work for a while now, so... Finished work. Good feeling? Yeah, I finished work. I finished work on Monday. And uh, what have I done in the two days since then? Um, Chilled. I've about the house. Done quite a lot of pottering about. Pottering's always good. Um, if you've got the time to yeah. potter, then just absolutely take it, I would say. Yeah, I scraped some rust off some metal. Uh, now left it in rust remover overnight. Right, a metal. I painted it what, today. What, what, is it like a, a metal you would use, or yeah, it's like uh, they're like um, they're things for holding the old windows open. Oh, right, uh, they've okay. been removed. Window uh, opener thingies. Yeah, yeah, like for a yeah. <clears throat> they can't. were found in a shed. Okay. I thought, well, we'll put them back in the windows where they're. Yeah. Which we can't open at the minute because there's nothing to hold them open. <laughs> Let's reinstate the objective of the things. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. That, so that I did that. Fun. It was quite good. I uh, poured about with some of the, some some stuff for the t-shirt company, and nice, um, nice. I've watched a few films as well. Oh, actually, good. anything interesting? Oh well, I'll tell you. I haven't actually watched the film, but I've had a little fiddle about with it. Is um, the film, which was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When you say you've got a lot of lot time in your hands, I, ex- you know, I expect there was Finally, the uh, Dawn of the Dead 4K box ah, set now that, has come that, to that, that leads me on to our next idea, actually. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, right. But uh, yeah, so it arrived from Second Sight. Mm-hmm. What a lovely package. Possibly the finest uh, film, Blu-ray, UHD thing package I've ever seen. I should fucking hope so. Yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying it was expensive. Yeah, but I think it was 70, it was either 70 or 80 quid. So yeah, I mean, you deserve, you deserve a good package for that, I would say. Three cuts of the film. Yeah. A gentle cut, can cut, and the, the original theatrical cut. Yeah. Now you're going to, I mean, we've talked about this before as well, but you're going to, 
the the very very opening shot it is now abundantly clear that she's leaning against a carpeted, carpeted wall, wall. <laughs> like, which i mean how many years was it just a red wall it's like some it's like, it's like a sort of like strangely wall. blodgy red wall yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, now it's clearly carpeted oh god imagine that it's what, beautiful as well what time to be alive what time to be alive oh, carpeted god. wall it is Insane the quality of that. But, uh, let's not get too much into it. it, it let's not get too much into Delves into my, my idea for our, okay. our, our next day. I'm not going to like it's going to be slightly off piste. But... Well, have you been up to anything exciting? <clears throat> uh, no, absolutely not. Let's move on. And, uh... Magic. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, although I did have a highlight time. today, actually, I did go and see my mum briefly, not briefly, for a while. Um, because we're a oh, God, extended household, so you can actually travel between tiers to blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, my youngest came with me, Cormac, and he fell asleep in the car on the way back, <laughs> about ten minutes into the journey, and we were on the street before we get home. When he woke up, he looked around and was like, "Wow, we got here so fast, Dad!" <laughs> <laughs> That's my highlight of the day. I was like, "Wow, what a beautiful way to look at things." He's like, he's pretty much time travelled through that journey. Oh, if only I could. I love, done, I love sleeping in cars. Yeah, it's me too. But I'm usually driving them, so it's a bit of an issue. Yeah, it can be problematic. Yeah. You've got to be careful of that. Yeah. 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 Always pull over, uh, have a wee walk, have a drink of coffee or something like that. Yeah. Or just have a nap. Yeah. Nap I usually works is probably better. If you can do it, it was just it can totally. be tricky in a car sometimes. It can be tricky in a car, yeah. I'd recommend uh, a wee hand shandy and then put your head back. <laughs> Absolutely. Off you, like a light. If the uh, police tap in the window. <laughs> Oh, you're masturbating. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but certainly in Scotland, I think they'd probably be having a word with you. Yeah, my window's usually Although steamed Although technically, up. if it was only them that saw you, then it wasn't really public, was it? Yeah, and basically you said, look, I'm trying to get to sleep so I can oh, like, probably let you off not it. be like a menace on the roads. And like, oh, they might even like stretch a hand in the window and do it for you. It's unlikely, but you know, you, you can never actually tell. Anyway, with that in mind, um, or out should of mind, should film? we move on? Yep, okay, cool. So, the last film in the chain was uh, Tenebrae. Yes, it was. And yeah. um, it's apparently, it stars an uncredited appearance <laughs> by Lamberto Bava. <laughs> so, we decided to go with the Bava link, mm-hmm. and we've gone for one of Mario Bava's. Uh, Films, yes, Mario I, being his dad, yep, Lamberto Bava's dad, and uh, we've gone for A Bay of Blood from 1971, bit of a classic, by Mario Bava, yep, it is a bit of a classic, isn't it? Well, it's interesting. Uh, I mean, like, before we get into them, it's hard. I mean, this is like uh, often touted as the kind of blueprint for the slasher film, yes, and then you've got uh. Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, often touted as the blueprint for the Giallo film. It's like, holy shit. Blueprint, what, fantastic. What? What the a master chap. blueprints. <laughs> <laughs> totally. If he were an architect, totally. what a man he'd been. Totally. And he, this, uh, was it the same year as Cat Nine Tales, is it? I think. Uh, Maybe. Ooh, I can't remember. I know, like, Bird came out in 71, was it? I can't remember. Well, oh, this is 71. No, oh, I think, no, Bird came out, no. I know, sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking back to Blood and Black Lace now. Uh, I can't remember. Well, you've got yeah, you, you the box. You fucking check I it. I do out. have the box here. Oh, no, no, it came out. I said it already. It came out in 1971. All right, brilliant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolute madness. Um, yes. Actually, and... i tell you what we didn't do last episode. Uh, your letter boxed. Oh, yes. Of we course, absolutely well, missed it out last episode. Oh, fucking hell. After, after sure 50 odd go. episodes. It's just like, I've just forgotten. To be fair, it had been our first episode in a while. It had been our first episode in a while. I didn't really know what was going on. And, uh, right, okay, here we go. Bear Blood. Letterbox. They came to play, they stayed to die. Nice. I don't know if anyone was making these taglines up as well, but it's quite a good tagline. I like this. An elderly heiress is killed by her husband who wants control of her fortunes. What ensues is an all-out murder spree as relatives and friends <laughs> attempt to reduce the inheritance playing field, complicated by some teenagers who decide to camp out in a dilapidated building on the estate. I mean, it's That's fucking... That's pretty fair, man. It's absolutely bang on. <laughs> it absolutely bang Shit. 
Yeah, that is a that is a good wee synopsis there. Uh, so yeah, a bit of blood, uh, also known as uh, the Twitch of the Death Nerve. The Twitch Fantastic of the title. Death Nerve. Twitch of the Death Nerve. Oh right, that's it. Oh. And uh, also known as Carnage as well. Oh, that sounds like a couple of excellent black metal titles. Certainly does, eh? But I mean, Carnage. I mean, all of them work. I mean, a bit of blood works perfectly. All of them work. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking hell! If only it could have been like an embarrassment of, in of riches. A blood. With the twitching death nerve. Oof. It's just, if they could fire it all in there, that'd be beautiful. But yeah, it's absolutely spot on. There's a lot of death in this. I think it's actually, well, let's just get straight into the death. I mean, we, well, we, we basically told the whole story for you. I mean, we can't really elaborate on that story, I don't think. I don't think so. What, um, what's your background? For, when did you see this film for the first time? Absolutely eons ago. Yes, I, but I think... I don't think I saw. I think I like so. I think we'll, we'll get into it eventually. But um, this uh, it was on the video nasty list in the UK. Doesn't surprise me. Yep, yep. Um, it didn't get released in the UK until 1994. Oh, really? On video. Jesus Christ! Um, I bought it in 1994 right. directly from Redemption. Oh, okay. On VHS, the UK version was cut quite severely. And I bought it directly. I think I, I can't remember if I, if it was actually a, a film show in London or if it was if it was by mail order. But I bought it directly, and it came in the UK box, right? But with so they had an alter, they had a uh, they had an alternative la- side label for releasing the uncut versions in Europe called Redemption Benelux. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. And my tape came in a UK box, but with a Redemption Benelux uncut tape inside. Ah, interesting. Yes, which is very nice, indeed. But I think that that was probably the first time I'd seen it. I don't remember having an earlier version. I don't ever remember having a pre cert version. I don't remember buying it from any of our earlier dodgy video dealers no but I can't remember how I mean 94 is certainly quite a long time after we'd got into Italian films and giallos and stuff like that so it must have been on the radar yeah anyway. I, I can certainly say the first time I ever saw it was when Arrow released it um, but I borrowed a copy of it I hadn't bought it um, yeah. and that's well, it's been that- out for a while um, it's been out for well. That, my Blu-ray is ten years old. Yeah, I think. It, I think. Yes, I think I, there's, there's a chance I may have seen a co- well. copy of it beforehand, but I wouldn't remember it. But I do remember getting a loan of a brand new Arrow restoration of it. I hadn't bought it myself. Um, a loan was was good enough for me because I don't really know anything about the the film. I just knew of its provenance. If that makes any sense. Yep. Um, and I'm always fairly nervous about watching films that old. Um, with no good reason, because there's like millions of completely bonkers, brilliant films that are even way older than that. Um, <clears throat> but always, I always have a little. If I've not seen it before, I've got like I always got a slight sticking point with it, uh, especially the Ita- Italian ones. And you know, some of the stuff in this is. <laughs> I mean, you know, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. It's it is, I mean, there's some fucking tremendous, crazy gore in it and stuff like really bonkers stuff. Um, but there's so many sequences of like, okay, uh, this little scene should involve about four shots, but why waste setup time when you can just zoom madly in and out of the things you want to look at? <laughs> Here's my face. Oh, that's great. Zoom back out. Here's two people. Oh, there's two people. Look at this book. Poof! Zoom straight back in. It's like, holy shit, it's completely dizzying at times. Um, yeah, it's pretty full It kind of goes from looking really sumptuous to amateurish as fuck it's really bizarre well there's a, the thing I was uh, I, so I hadn't seen it in ages well, the thing is I say I hadn't seen it in ages but about a year ago I discovered a box of VHS tapes in my garage yeah that were ones I hadn't got rid of and that was one of them the Venelux tape and I had a look at it I actually sold it uh, after but um, it uh, uh, yeah so it seemed like snippets of it but right. even that, I mean, it, oh God, seeing something on a CRT screen 
like a like a scope film in uh, on a CRT screen. Like look at it, it just looked so fucking rubbish. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, I might as well not have seen it since it came out <laughs> since I got this Blu-ray. But um, it is uh, yeah. The, the thing that struck me this time was that um, a lot of the interior stuff, and especially the stuff right at the very start when inside the old woman's house is and and this in fact the stuff in the in the, in the other house and, and that as well is like very very giallo yes looking. yeah yeah totally very giallo lighting and very like sumptuous and yeah sort of totally rich agree. and deep and then when it's outside stark as fuck it's like <laughs> fucking shonky <laughs> as hell and i mean i think the film was super low budget uh, it, it, it certainly doesn't reek of a budget, that's for sure. No, no, certainly not. I mean, it feels like there was probably only about 20 people involved, including the cast, of which there are a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, and I was quite interested to read that, um, actually, I think, I can't remember whose house, it was on one of the uh, one of the extras as well, I didn't get a chance to really go through the extras, but... Um, that it was all filmed on either Bava's property or one of the other guys that was involved in shooting its property. Right. Um, and there wasn't really any woods there like there was in the background and stuff, but like all the stuff they shot in the trees and stuff, basically they had a couple of trees <laughs> and some branches that they held out in front of the camera now and again. So like, no wonder it all looks incredibly shonky. It's a very weird, weird place as well that it's set really. You keep going on about the potential of this bay to be beautiful, but it looks like an absolute dump. Yeah, it looks like an absolute hellhole like, to me. No question about it. That's um, a run-down 60s hotel. Like, so, and they keep talking about it being on the sea, but it just looks like it's on a lake. It's not a fucking sea. It's, it's a lake. No it's a fucking it's lake. I mean, it's so <laughs> obviously a, 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 like a, a land-bound bit of water. It's fucking <laughs> untrue. It's like, that's not, that, sir, is not a bay. <laughs> See, this is the start of the problem with uh, old uh, Octopus Boy. <laughs> he calls the octopus squid. Yes. In English, well, presumably you watched the English cut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think because the Blu-ray does have the... Well, when I first put it on, I thought, oh, I'm going to watch it in Italian or English. And then uh, I was like, oh, it's only got the English soundtrack on it. And then I looked at the back of the box about halfway through and it says original Italian version. And I was like, what? And... The Italian version is on the special features. What? And it's a it's actually like a minute longer. Right. And no go or anything like that. But uh, also it's like you know some of the you know sometimes on Blu rays they put on like a sort of as a feature, like an unrestored version as a sort of grindhouse version yeah, with all the yeah. scratches and that. It's yeah, just basically that. All right. <laughs> Like a really fucking ropey <laughs> copy of it. <laughs> well yeah. this is this is an this is an old arrow. It is an old arrow, yes. Very old arrow. Um, it's Very just, old arrow. This would, be, this would be back to their oh, nigh on inception days, I would imagine. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got it here. I'm holding it up just now. Like, I mean, we'll oh, talk about well, it later, but it's a window. It's an arrow window the box. The window box, that says it all. That's original, that's original vibe. That is old school arrow window box. So there you go. Mental. But yeah, I mean, like, I, like I, I was quite tired when I got to the film last night. And uh, I did enjoy. I did enjoy it again. It's good. Does it does have some great, great gore as well. But for a film that's so short, one, four minutes, one hour and twenty minutes, according to what my screen said. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, I'm in for a real treat here. I was like, that time, man, that last thirty minutes dragged like a motherfucker. It really Holy does. Shit. Um, I'll be honest. I mean, I, I, I'm, I was kind of in the same mood as you tonight. I've been just generally quite fucking tired in general. I don't seem to wake up with any vigour at all ever. <laughs> but <laughs> but usually I'll, I'll get a, a wave at some point in the day. But it did not happen today. Um, and yeah, it's it did. It's yeah. It, it's like well, it's like any kind of Italian film of that age. It's kind of drags out a bit for no real good reason. Um, you know, it could have, it could easily have been seventy minutes without question. Um, yeah. But yeah, in terms of horror film, and you know, if your atypical horror film fan is going to watch this, there is good stuff in it, and it's there's some, there's some really quality kills going on in this. Oh, um, some absolute and dynamite being kills. kind of cited as kind of an origin for the slasher flick. You can totally, totally see that. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
and also, and I mean, as always, you know, well, we've already spoiled loads of stuff, probably. Uh, as we do. Anyway, but um, I mean, like as someone says, I'm one of the extras on this as well. Like, uh, it's a, it's like a slasher who done it where. Everyone done it. Yeah. <laughs> like, everyone's merging everyone else. Yeah, it's there's, just, there's no real mystery involved. No, there's no mystery at all. That's the thing. At the start, when the old woman gets gets murdered, and you get the black glove, and you get, like, her yeah, hat yeah. and all that, and then it just pans up, and like, which is... Hi, I know, killed her. Actually, <laughs> like, shocking when you're used to Jallos, and you're like, oh, who the fuck's this going to be? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right until the end. So, like, to just get that at the start. But, yeah, I mean... I, I mean, it... It should zip along, and there's technically, I think there's 13 murders yeah. in like an hour and 20 minutes. That's <laughs> a lot, let's be honest. But still, there's quite a few moments last night when I was like, oh, come on, just murder someone else. Come on. <laughs> there are some absolute belters, though, and I have to say, and I'm not going to spoil the ending because it's got one of the oh, yeah, it's finest endings. Absolutely like, wild. It's a wild totally, ending. Totally, totally. Up there with. Uh, up- up there with uh, Sleepaway Camp for a genuine surprise ending. Or just genuine. So. Like, you're just like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come yeah. from? Just yeah, laughs. It's amazing. Like, it's like, obviously, they're sitting right How are we going to finish this? I've got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. And like, no one stops them. No one questions. Them. Okay, that's... Have you, maybe a bit... No, all oh, right, you've shot it. That's done. Okay, great. Uh, let's, let's move along, guys. Film finished, wrapped, excellent work. Uh, it's like no one's going to understand what's going on at the end of this. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to like about it, but... Gratuitous does, violence. It, Gratuitous. Yeah, it does Gratuitous feed into my... It does feed into my fear of older films and... It's very dated. Oh, what is very dated? Yeah, I mean, originally I thought when it first comes on, like you know, when you're talking about the very kind of yellowish, stylish scene at the start, it's like this actually seems like you know it could have been shot ten, fifteen years later, but that all comes tumbling down quite quickly. I think when the sort of like sort of groovy kids turn up, yeah, with hair that is fucking and they're lo- and they're little yellow sort of weird yellow buggy car thing yeah and go oh, they're all like dancing around the whole time <laughs> oh god forbid that crazy meeting dance that happens inside the house i'm calling it a meeting dance it's like there's like oh, there's two guys and two lassies and i don't even know where they've come from to be honest just kind of i think they've maybe randomly met each other um on, yeah, on well, it, seems, it seems like they don't really know each other very well no or, like, especially or the, the like one of the guys is something. like oh, i thought you were going to take the German chick. I don't think I actually calls it. She called her Kraut or something. Chick or something. That's quite. Um, and so, this, so that she's off getting. She's off doing a classic, pointless naked swim on her own. Yeah. And then the yeah. two guys are in the house with this other chick, like <laughs> trying to kind of. It's like it's like, it's like a, like a. If you were going to watch a dance off, but you'd taken mushrooms, this is what it would kind of look like. I think. Yeah. <laughs> It's yes. like some sort of meeting ritual slash dance off, and it is just like the lamest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, um, I mean, thank God they all get killed. I mean, yeah, they all deserve it, really. Yeah. Do- oh, I don't know if the one that was swimming does. Oh no, I mean the German lass. I was like, you know, I mean, she adds a lot to the film. Yeah. In terms of jiggliness and not any clothes. So I mean, yes, uh, I would. I wouldn't have been upset if she'd survived for maybe another hour and forty minutes. Just actually expanded beyond the end of the film, and it was just her <laughs> just kind of wandering about. She's called Broomhilda as well, I which bet is she the is. which is the name from uh, uh, Django's girlfriend's name, oh, uh, Django and Jane. Right enough, fucking yeah. hell. Uh, um, Nicky, Nicky, Tarry, uh, There you go. Uh, yeah, so. I've absolutely no idea what to say about this film. I'm going to, I'm going to hold my hands up because I've absolutely no idea. Like, people get killed and it's entertaining. And then people don't get killed and it's quite boring. Yes. And I mean, it's, is it, I think it's probably available on the Arrow, uh, the Arrow channel. That's where, I, that's where I watched it tonight. Yeah. Because I, um, I don't have the Blu ray. So. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's no reason really not to watch it. I mean, I, I suspect that I'm going to have a look on CEX. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a little bit, but I'm sure that the disc isn't very expensive these days. No, I'd say six quid, maybe. No, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. It's like, it's like a slipcase if It might be more expensive. Let's see. A bear blood. 
Six quid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you totally nailed it. Six quid. Classic. Classic. If I was down. to sell the... Oh, no, but that's not that version. Oh, oh, oh so it's not the slipcase, is it? Or probably the um, normal one. Oh, 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 oh. Is Cammy sitting on a fortune? No, they don't have the normal... They don't have the slipcase one on C- CX. At all? Not, no. not even as a... No. We buy or anything. All right, okay. No. So there you go. Oh, well. Uh, Can we keep me sitting in a gold mine? We just don't know. I doubt it. I'd suspected that it'd be less than a tenner, probably. So I'd imagine that probably is the case. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think definitely. And and if you're a... I mean, I find it hard to imagine that this is anybody's favourite film. I'd be surprised. Um, but I'm, I'm the, surprised a lot of these days. Yeah. I mean, it's got some great covers. Uh, some great artwork from back in the day and actually do you know what I was watching it last night uh, Marianne watched it uh, along well she didn't really watch it but she was in the room while I was watching it she was sort of like was chuckling along to it but it's actually pretty fucking violent <laughs> pretty fucking violent it's Could very violent compu- mm-hmm. do you know what I mean for a type for a film of it's, its quite, age it's, yeah. it's nearly 50 years old yeah I was thinking if about you- that I was thinking about like if we were sitting about in 1990 like, it'd be a equivalent of us watching a film from the 40s. Exactly. I, I, when you bring it up, I was kind of had a quick look at Bava, and, like, his first film credit is, like, nine, 1937. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's absolute insanity. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I agree. It's like, I, I, you compare it to the first Friday the 13th film, and it's as violent, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, and one of the, well, some, some, one of the murders was uh, directly lifted by Friday the 13th Party. Yeah. So I think some of them have been directly lifted Friday the 13th for a kind of way. A wee read on how it had influenced slashers and stuff, but um, I don't can't remember exactly which ones. But, um, but yeah, if you're going to compare the, those two as it being a blueprint, I think Friday the 13th probably being the new blueprint for slashers, I think. It holds its own easily in terms of violence and death. And oh, all yeah, all totally. Kinds of things. And easily, totally. a very sustained shot of a German lassie wandering around, <laughs> jiggling about for <laughs> no good reason. Um, but I mean, if you want to see some, if you want a fairly shonky, like m- m- sort of uh, Agatha Christie style, like you know, who who done it, constant twists and turn plot <laughs> with a fair chunk of nudity and some very graphic violence. <laughs> Then uh, this is probably the film for you. Yeah, if that's on your list, I would fucking recommend it heartily. And to be honest, if that's yeah. on your list, you've probably seen it already, I would imagine. But yeah. um, that's probably why yeah. you have that list. You're just trying to find this film again in a different Yeah, version. you might actually be like, what? it might actually be your favourite film and you're listening to us just pulling your hair out going, what the fuck are these two idiots talking about? And you'd be the same and as every other listener right. right now. <laughs> every other, it's amazing you keep listening to this. With the absolute drivel that keeps coming out, um, we we offer no real information. Um, I mean, we've never pretended to, to be fair. No insight. No, we've never pretended to do that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just two folk who enjoy having a beer together, loosely chatting about a film. If you don't like it, then just keep just keep listening anyway, because you obviously hate yourself as it is. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Well, will we give it our thumb rating? Yeah, I think so. I think... Right, okay, this is going to be quite a difficult one. Um, mm, right, okay, yes, I've got... I've, I've, mm, right, I've got it. Right. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> I'm giving it one of them up because I did enjoy it. I think there's enough to enjoy about it that you couldn't give it a thumb across. Because there's too no. much, there's too much good stuff and a thumb down because I just don't think I'll watch it again. No, okay, no, I'm uh, fair, totally fair. I'm going to give it one thumb up because again, like you, I did enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, it's a it's it's a classic for all its shonkiness. Yeah, and it's fairly shonky in most respects. For all its shonkiness, it's got some great. Murders and it. it does some great yep. special effects, and it clearly was the blueprint. I mean, I know there's a bit of debate about oh yeah, no, but there's older films that were slashers or whatever. I mean, this is, but this is the blueprint for slashers. This, yeah. this is the blueprint for like a graphic in your face horror slasher film. There's no question about it. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, I'm so yeah, I'm going to give it a thumb up on that, and I would recommend that anyone that's horror, if you're a horror fan, especially if you're into slasher films, if you're younger, if you're a younger listener. 
you're into your slasher films and you've not seen this before, go and get it watched. Yeah. It'll surprise you. You will enjoy it. I mean, it's very dated. Very, very dated. But, you know, as are a lot of films of the time. Do you know what I mean? Uh, So I'm going to give it one thumb up for that. I'm going to give it one thumb across. Okay. Because... Because it is such a classic. I can't imagine... It probably is ten years since I watched this. Yeah. At no point did I rush to... Stick it on. Stick it on again. Probably at no point did I consider putting it on again. It's just been on the shelf. And I remember actually buying Basically, the, the only reason because... we're watching this is because you suggested we should watch it. It is, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but... And I wanted to watch it. But, and I remember I bought this at the time because... I remember I remembered enjoying the VHS some sixteen years before, <laughs> <laughs> and thought, "Oh well, I'll maybe get a wee upgrade to that and have a look at that." And uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I, yeah, and I mean, I guess it'll tie into the love or list it, but I mean, I I think I think I'll keep hold of this really. Um, wow, well, quite sure when I'd watch it again, but you know, maybe at some point in the future, I'll be. Uh, Maybe Esme will get into horror films. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yep, yep. and she'll be like, "Oh, Dad, well, I watch some classics, and I can show her the the sort of genesis of uh, of the slasher film." And then she'll watch it um, like, "Dad, I mean, that was on CBBS yesterday. Fuck me." Yeah, totally. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and actually, I uh, the, I also recently uh, got the Friday the Thirteenth mm. uh, box set, Ultimate box set from the states. So I've watched a few of those uh, recently, and yeah, I mean it's like it's you know, night, you know it's you know, clear as day that it's the blueprint for them, and certainly very influential. So yeah, I'm like uh, yeah, I, uh, I recommend it, but it doesn't get the it doesn't get the double thumbs up. No, well I think that's fair. You know, it's uh, not all films do. Fair enough. Not all films do. Um, no. Um, but I, I could tell you why actually mentioning CBBS. You know, Andy of CBBS. Yeah, I do. Yeah. The, the, the big hand. Well, I don't know him personally. No. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great, yeah. man. Be, uh, Six feet five or something. About uh, he's a fucking giant, man. He's got hands Fuck like you wouldn't believe. I can't even begin to imagine what the old <laughs> fella's like. Um, but <laughs> but he was being interviewed on like uh, BBC uh, BBC Morning TV this morning, and they always do the CBB's. Um, what do you call it? Christmas. Nativity oh, show. Oh, yes, the pantomime. Pan- that's it, pantomime, that's what we're yeah. looking for. Um, and it's probably the first question out of the <laughs> interviewers. I was like, so is it going to be dealing, you know, with um, this year? Or is it going to be dealing with the pandemic? And he was like, not directly, no, <laughs> because it's oh. for, like, three-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. It's a, it's a pantomime version of... Uh, a film, I don't know if you've seen it before, it's called uh, it's called uh, a Serbian film. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> are, uh, I was just like, what the fuck? Is, what's this guy talking about? Of course it's not. I think, I think wow. so what they're going, to be, they're going to be dealing with um, uh, heroes of, 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 of our everyday life, I think is what they're going to talk about. Yeah, I mean, three-year-olds don't know what a pandemic is. No, they don't give a fuck what a pandemic is. They've got no idea that this isn't normal. No, exactly. They're just like, oh, fair enough. It's fine. These things kids happen. Don't, kids are just like, oh, yeah. Five, six, me. seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I, I don't been, know how high. There's been pandemics in the past. Yeah, I don't know how high it goes. Like, none of Not my kids like, have oh, been, there's really... a pandemic in fucking 1918. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nobody remembers it. Well, that was it. I think, I think it was, uh, I think Cormac said to, said to his, Dad, what did you do when um, you had coronavirus at school? I was like, <laughs> we didn't have coronavirus at school. Oh, really? No. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just, just it's, it's quite new for all of us. You guys don't give a fuck because it doesn't really affect you very much. Um, well, everyone else's lives crumble around them. You guys just don't <laughs> just kind of carry on and not give a shit. Um, so yeah, I would have done what you did. Fuck all. I would imagine just got on with life and um, <clears throat> watched telly. Would um, you? Well, would you have watched uh, when you were at school? Would you have watched uh, *Bear Blood*? Um, possibly it depends what year I was in. <laughs> if I was in, if, if if we were thirteen or above, definitely. Um, yeah, we, we, might, we might have yeah. we might have ordered it as our annual Christmas horror film from Spike, maybe. Yeah, yeah, um, totally, totally. Spike, what, above, Spike, what like... do you recommend as a Christmas horror film? Um, it's like guinea pig too. All right, sweet. Let's get some of that. Nice. Let's get it. Yeah, it's nice. Always like a pet at Christmas. Yeah. 
um, I think it, I think actually it would be like for someone that was about uh, 13-ish, 12 or 13, first year of high school, something like that, this would be a good one to, this would be like, uh, like, like the kids in Scream who are like, you know, into their into the horror movies yeah, and where yeah. it all comes from it's to be a good one to see it's a, it's a classic it is it's good fun you know it is good fun it's just uh, it doesn't remain fun all the time <laughs> I was going yeah, to say yeah. but I, I won't, I, won't dis- I will not discourage you from watching it I mean look an hour and 20 minutes of your life is fuck all in this time in this, this time of the oh, planet we live in exactly um, I know we've all got a lot of time in our hands um, right well we move on then well, well can I go for a wee and yes, can I get cut, more beer? Uh, yeah, well, let's do both of those things. Welcome back, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Welcome actually, back, I, folks. I, I, I might leave that massive silence in when we go for a piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we've both uh, been away to the bathroom, yep. uh, but we're back. Yep. Um, yeah, so we'll be going with the disc review. Uh, well... I watched it on the desk. Mm-hmm. You didn't watch it on the desk. Correct. You streamed it. Do you want to talk about the streaming first? I will do, actually. Um, I, yeah, I streamed it off the uh, Arrow channel, which I think is only available through Amazon Prime, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but so yeah. it's an additional subscription, is it? It is. Top of your oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which I think is fair. Um, so basically, yeah. if, if you want to subscribe to the Arrow video channel, which has a lot of not all of their stuff on it um it is 4.99 a month which is pretty cheap i think that's um, pretty cheap for a wee boutique label um so i was kind of faced with a challenge today it was uh do i pay two pounds 49 to stream one film or do i pay the 4.99 for a month so you went for the month no 2.49 uh, i paid for just one film thinking well if there's another film i want to watch then I've not really lost any money. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, that's true. Um, that's a good way of looking at it. And I, mean, and I know well, what I'm like. If I if I buy a subscription that I save for one film and I leave it, then it will, without question, roll on to the next month before I remember to cancel it. Yeah. Um, so I went for that, and I'm glad. I was really pleasantly surprised. It looked fucking terrific. There was a, there was only two moments of um, kind of blockiness. Was a uh, uh, four mentioned German lass in the water and some undershot water of uh, spoilers corpse kind of coming up. That was it was yeah just a few few little bits of blockiness in that and then one like really heavy night scene. It's literally for a few seconds, a bit blocky, but otherwise it looked like I I I would have said I was watching the Blu-ray. Otherwise, fucking hell, that's impressive it was for streaming. Really, yeah, really, really, really good. I was taken aback because uh, I think it was one of our meltdown viewings that we do on our lockdown meltdowns or. Uh, yeah. A group of us. Um, I think we did. What was it? it was Hellraiser, and Hellraiser was on the Arrow Channel, and it looked absolutely minging. Um, that is shocking. I remember that. Yeah, absolutely shocking. It was chronic. Um, so yeah, God only knows what happens. So, uh, Matt, that might have just been an anomaly um, because this looked absolutely as, as way better than I thought it was going to look as, as a streaming film. So high cred to whatever's happened there. Impressive. Good. Well, uh, th- two, two thumbs up there then for that. Yeah, as I said, I'm on the original um, um, Blu-ray release from Arrow, which was uh, 2010. 2010, uh, Jesus In one Christ. of their window sleeves, the famous window sleeves. Uh, yeah, I was really, like, I mean, like I said, the last time, you know, about a year ago, I watched some snippets of this on uh, VHS. And had to like bleach my eyes instantly <laughs> afterwards, and like sort of like try and scrub them clean. Um, Can I ask yeah, you something? Because of the horror. What? Yeah. What was the ratio list? Is it got a ratio listed on the thing? Which yeah, it- I think off the top of my head, it's like uh, oh yeah, one eight five to one, sixteen nine. It's weird because it didn't fill my screen. Well, so this is interesting. <laughs> or is it? Didn't is it just fill to my us? screen as just well. Just interesting to us. <laughs> Didn't feel fill my screen as well, right? But so there's bars, bars at the top, like bottom, tiny, tiny little open, ones, tiny little ones. Yeah, yeah. But at the opening credits, there was bars at the side as well. Oh, I, I didn't thought, see. Hold that. on a second. What's going on here? Like, has someone been fiddling with TV settings and it's not 
like shown properly. But then as soon as the credits were over, it filled the screen. So there's definitely some shonkiness going on there. Yeah, it's definitely something not quite 100% going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as we say, this is an old arrow, so things are always open to question. <laughs> And it is, uh, yeah, I mean, I was really impressed with how it looked uh, straight away. Uh, very, very clean uh, looking, but also, you know, I mean, definitely, you know, grainy as you'd expect yeah. from a low budget film, shot and film in the 70s, clearly without a lot of lighting and stuff. Um, But yeah, picture like absolutely night and day, uh, you know, compared to the old uh, the old VHS release that I had anyway, and I never had this on DVD, so can't really comment on any DVD versions. Um, and yeah, yeah, just very, very sharp, no softness at all. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's absolutely it looked, beautiful. I mean, it looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, if, yeah, if, you're, if you're into just like, you know, <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, if you if you are interested in any of the stuff we're talking about, do subscribe to that Arrow channel, even for a month, and just go mental. Just watch yes. everything you possibly can. And yeah. it'll be the cheapest five quid of your entire life. Yeah, I mean, loads of the films we've done in this podcast so far are available through Arrow. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be well worth like tearing into that. Dream Demon as well, I note, recently has, has, has oh, popped shit. up there. Oh, nice. Um, That's nice. And I, I mean, we paid each 18 quid for that. 18 quid for that, yeah. Imagine exactly. that. <laughs> Fuck me. Fucking buy it for a month. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, well, I would say, like I said before, the one of the extra features on this is the Italian version, uh, which, right. like, when I put it on, because uh, I, I put it on just to see, like, why have they got that in here? Is it a different? Is it actually a different print? So they've obviously not just branched out the, you know, they're not gone for a sort of seamless branching yeah. for the additional scene or whatever like that. But the quality is like DVD quality, basically. Right. Okay. Okay. It's a big step down from the Blu-ray. Which could be fun if you were wanting a sort of more grindhousey version, but do you know what? I mean, it was fine. Uh, the there's a whole bunch of extras on here. Uh, the extras are all um, uh, high rising. Oh yeah, yep. uh, when they used to work uh, work for uh, Arrow. Uh, so yeah, some really great interviews and stuff. Um, there is um, um, a documentary about the screenwriter uh there's a little piece uh joe dante talking about mario bava oh nice uh there's a a, a doc with the cameraman talking about shooting bay of blood <coughs> and then there's <coughs> uh commentary as well but also uh which i watched which was quite funny it was uh edgar wright doing commentaries for the trailers oh i like the sound of that yeah, but it's obviously from some sort of like trailer reel release in the States or something right. like that, because it's got a sort of branded in the bottom, like trailers from hell or something like that. Uh, but yeah, no, and he was talking about how much of an influence the trailers for that were on his <clears throat> spoof trailer, Don't, ah, right, from okay, Great yeah, House. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yes, yeah, 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 totally. So yeah, I mean, loads of stuff on here. It's uh, also been a window sleeve. It's got four covers that you could choose uh, your own. The original uh, UK Video Nasty sleeve. Uh, it's got a uh, French sleeve, I think, maybe. Um, ah, and Le Bay of Blood. Yeah, Le, B- Le Bay of Blood. Uh, a Spanish, uh, Spanish release. Ah, and yeah, they're, they're own, <laughs> their, uh, their own... Artwork version, which... Which is honking, I think. It's absolutely fucking stinking. It's absolutely Jesus. stinking. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't at all. Uh, there's a little booklet uh, with some chat by uh, Jay Slater. Uh, and there's a poster as well. Um, so, which is quite nice. So that's on the old... Uh, that's on the that's on the slipcase... Windowed slipcase version. <laughs> the old window slipcase yeah, version. There is, yeah, uh, I think, what we'll probably... But if you buy it now from Arrow, you'll get the uh, just the general DVD... Well, sorry, uh, Blu-ray packaging, which is just Blu-ray packaging. Uh, it won't won't yeah. be that fellow. You have to seek that out. You'll have to seek that out. You, you can, will have to seek it out. Or you can, you pick alternatively, up. you could uh, text Cammy on O7 to <laughs> offer him a reasonable price for his copy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, that's the thing. So many of the films that you've got, like, are worth nothing at all. That even if they're worth, like... Eight quid or something like that. You're like, oh, that's maybe tempted to sell it. But then, yeah. Well, remember that you know. madness, 
mad guy I had in the States. I, was, I think it was actually during a meltdown. I was starting to get a guy in the States questioning me about other slip cases of Arrow that I had. I think I'd sold one on eBay or sort of a couple. Um, and they were going for kind of vaguely silly prices. And I think I had like three slip cases hanging about. It's like, I'll give you $150 for all three of them. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think this the thing is as well that it became sort of like people are trying to complete the collection, collection. of the yeah. window cases, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So, which is, which is, is fair enough. If you want to do that, that's cool. Um, if you want to offer yeah, me money, yeah, that, that's your thing. That's unimaginable your thing. money. I thought I'll probably someone's going to give me like a 20 quid for this max. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, fair well, enough. I, I sold the window version of my, uh, my Dawn of the Dead. For whatever it was, well, that's it, yeah. Quid yeah, that was, that was, you know, I was, I was in the ballpark. Which makes me feel better yeah. about spending eighty quid in the US. Actually, yeah, version. totally. You pretty much got that for free. Yeah, that's the way to look at that. Exactly, Brilliant. exactly. Cost me fuck all. Yeah, come on, people. Thankfully, the biggest thing that I was thankful for with that whole debacle was that they took the money for it when the pre-orders went in. So they actually paid for it before lockdown. Right. Ah, oh, or the very start of lockdown see, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, Rachel's been like, saying, "Why are you getting so much vinyl?" It's like. I, <laughs> Literally, all these orders are from fucking ages ago. Yeah, They've all it's just most of them like, have been delayed so bad, for about two months because all the vinyl places were fucking shut. <laughs> but yeah. literally, I had to like, like I had seven bits of vinyl turn up in two days. I, I, I swear to God, that has been ordered fucking ages you ago. Ha- you don't have to swear to me. You don't have to swear to me. Ah, well, I, I believe you. I do have to her because she gave me money to stay alive, and it's like I have not been spending it on. <laughs> It's just, this has been a long time ago. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, I, think, I think I'm falling out of love with vinyl, to be honest. Yeah. Now, I've had a few that are like really poppy and scratchy and stuff. And I'm like, I can't listen to that. I, 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 I literally I can't listen to it. So, yeah, bad pressing. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just be done with vinyl and just buying flax from now on. Oh, massive controversial, I know, but John, this is a this is this is one for another podcast. It is, it is, it is. Um, <laughs> so, what we what do we do next? Um, what do we do? Uh, oh, uh, oh, have we have we looked into any of the censorship issues? I know it was an issue. Yes, but so, I've not really looked into it. So I'm going to have to rely on you for this. Okay, yeah. So I've got a little bit. And so the BBFC have recently uh, re they've um, they've uh, redone their website. Yes. To make it more useful, apparently. But not so much. But they've also removed all the information about previous cuts yep. and all the rest. Yep. Absolute bullshit. So, but, uh, yeah, so looking back on it, so, uh, yes, it was a video nasty. It was on the video nasties list. Pretty wild. The, yeah, I can imagine why, because at the time, that was probably quite a strong little movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I mean, it still is. Surprisingly it is, strong. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's the um, question about it. I although I do think it would probably be a fifteen now, would it? I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I think so maybe. Yep, yep, yep. Um, banned uh, <sighs> by the Pro- public prosecutions, um, and then so it eventually came out as I said on Redemption Video on VHS in the UK yep. um, in nineteen ninety four. I think it was <clears throat> cut by forty three seconds. Oh really? No. Okay. 43, I was thinking about this last night, 43 seconds. That's quite a lot for... That's quite a lot. For what's going on in this film, that is a lot. When the film's runtime is 84 minutes. And also, the other thing is, all of the murders are pretty quick. They are, yep. There's no real dwelling. Yep. Like, what was being cut? Like, how'd you cut 43 seconds from that film? I have found it. (laughs) I really don't In the time you've been rambling, I have gone onto my, my, my go to site. Uh, UK passed 18 after 7 cuts totaling 43 seconds uh, first murder of a teenage girl releases 2 seconds and 2 cuts first of the throat being cut from behind and then of a graphic hatchet blow to the head <laughs> Uh, the, the, the slashing of the throat from behind is one of the one of the best bits. Yeah, second one, twenty one seconds in brackets. Oh. Nearly the entire scene <laughs> is cut from a boy dying with a machete embedded in his face. Uh, oh. Third cut, 
three cuts totaling nine seconds diminish the death of a couple impaled with the spear walls. Make oh, we did not mention this, and it's a fucking great little scene. Uh, it's a little easy. <clears throat> three cuts totaling nine seconds diminish the death of a couple impaled with the spear whilst making love. <laughs> little note from uh, men and farmers: we love the blood welling from the wounds and they're writhing whilst impaled. Yes, I mean, uh, Manny Adam was like, Manny, we were both like chuckling away to that as well. Like, they sort of like, uh, I like continuing. Like, uh, like, they're oh, spasming, you see, you see just making like, look like they're continuing like, from above and kind of like to the side a little bit, but she's like really still grinding. So it's like they're just like still like in the <laughs> throes of orgasm whilst they've been fucking speared. And it's like, man, what a sexy way to go. Man, there's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely amazing. Uh, cut number four, two seconds when beep gets beheaded, tracking shot of her, head, of her neck, spilling blood is missing. And cut five, 11 seconds has been cut from the death of beep being forced up a wall by a speared impaled in his stomach. A speared impaled? Why, that seems 11 seconds cut from that. Wow, okay. That must have been almost the whole fucking murder. It's, it's quite a... Yeah, sort of a quite... Yeah, it's quite a lingering shot, but 11 seconds seems a lot, without question. Shit. Uh, but yeah, God, I was I absolutely loved, and that's a class. That was a classic in a Friday the third. I don't know which Friday the thirteenth. People shagging and bitting. I think they were speared. From, yeah, I think, I think the, the twist too. being speared from underneath. Maybe I think yes, yes. instead of above. Yeah, yeah. and it, I, I love the spearing of this. I was God, I'm glad I looked at that because um, I absolutely loved it. And the, f- the fact they're just still grinding whilst they're slowly dying. It's like. Fucking hell, man. Almost what a perfect way to go. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, uh, Mary, Mary Ann's comment was, like, <laughs> Mary Ann's comment was, she's been stabbed fully through the spine. I don't think she'd be moving about. <laughs> but she, she just loves like, the... Yeah, you're kind of not really got the mindset for horror film no. watching. I mean, for us, she's like, oh, she loves the boob so much she must finish the job. <laughs> that was one of my notes. I did take some notes. <laughs> I did take some notes right hold on a second you just reminded me you just reminded me um, there's one of the characters is called Bobby <laughs> <laughs> oh I'll tell you what as well I want to bring something up I'm sorry listeners this is all over the show this one <laughs> two things okay right? I do love a wheelchair incident in a film I know you do it's always, always fun um, but the other thing was Right at the right at the end, uh-huh. the fucking laddie that gets the fucking pan of boiling water in his face yep. takes like a he takes that like a fucking champ. <laughs> he he like recoils for about two seconds, and then he's back on it, and his face doesn't even get red. I mean, he he, it's like she threw a pan of freezing cold water in his face, and it like distracted him for two seconds. There's no boils. There's no like. Nope, nope. There's no like scalding or like redness he's just back on it he's straight back on the case like <laughs> but yeah fucking any a character called Bobby I wonder what Bobby was called in the original Italian version <laughs> what's the Italian version uh, Bobby <laughs> Bobby <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah cut by 43 seconds yeah, uh, James Furman was fucking he's probably spinning his grave now that it's uh, now that it's released on cut wow but if he if if can stop thing wanking is, Really? Really? Can you imagine sitting down? I mean, it's quite it's it's quite violent. Can you imagine sitting down with one of the censors now? One of the guys from, like, 1994, and just being like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, what? Like, seriously? Well, I, 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 it seems I it, so ridiculous. It was, it I mean, was, it was all pressure, wasn't it? was, like, fucking 26 years ago. It was all pressure. Like, it was all pressure and a sense of of, of power. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. protecting the children. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're doing, we're doing our best thing, but, but at the same time, just making no difference whatsoever. Yeah, it's not proper art. It's not proper art. Well, it certainly didn't stop us getting hold of anything, did it? Exactly. It's, I mean, it, was, exactly. it was all fucking futile twat. Um, God. So you go, Fairman, spin his grave. Can't. Good. Bob bag. <laughs> <laughs> let's not ill of the. Let's not talk ill of the dead. Let's not talk of the dead in these troubling times. Yeah, oh, um, I imagine he died of COVID. That'd be amazing. Uh, anyway, sorry. Will we oh. have a look at the tomato rotten tomatoes? Yeah, I've got a confession to make. 
Um, Have you had a look already? Uh, now, I only ever usually look at this on my desktop, so the ratings come up to the right-hand side, so I can just, like, not look at them. It's like I've got, like, straight onto Wikipedia. So I'm looking at Wikipedia or something to check out some facts. Yeah. So I'm clicking that, just look at that. But unfortunately, I looked at my phone tonight, and it comes up right at the top of the thing. So I know, I know the critic score. I don't know the audience score, so I'm going to have to duck out of the okay. critic score. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep them even numbers, and I'm going to go in ballpark. I'm going to go ballpark figures. Right. Do you want me to make noises? That's a, that suggestion, score, right no, or wrong? No, critic score. Uh, um, Forty. Oh. <laughs> that's an out. That, that is the noise I'm making for that. The fan score. Sixty-five. Right, I can already tell you, you are miles off in the first one. No way. Yeah. It got a good score. Do you want to take a second guess? No, it didn't get a good score, did it? Take a second guess. So you've gone from 40, was it 45? 40. Just 40? Yeah. Oh my God. What did the critics give it? You're not going to fucking believe this, man. You literally will not fucking... Right, I'm, I'm not going to look at it. So what, what, what was your audience? 70? 70 for audience, okay. okay. No, 60. 60. 65, I think it said 65. 65, right, okay. I've not looked at the audience. Uh, after what our discussion has gone along tonight, and I'd, I, we are a forgiving audience uh-huh. at the best of times, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go... Oh, I can't believe that. That's... Uh, no, I think audience 60. Right. I'm going 60. Okay. You're going to shit yourself when you see the critics. Right. <laughs> so I'm, go- I'm going to go 60 audience. You're going 65? 65. Okay. You. Ooh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Critic score, 85. What the fuck? You're the critics, right? Look at the critics. Um, oh, it's you. So <laughs> <laughs> just a picture of you going, hi, good. So it was critically acclaimed at the time. Uh, uh, there's only 13 reviews for it. I think it's like... Oh, cool. so there must all be modern. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, audi- oh, right, audience okay. score. You've pipped it. 63. Oh, just very, very close. It's a Pippin. It's very a Pippin. Close. It's a Bobby <laughs> Pippin. Hell. The big old Bobby Pippin. But, Shit. yeah, man, yeah, that, that audience score, I, I was like, oh, the fuck. <laughs> um, another uh, wild. interesting thing that I've not looked at so often, but, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like 91% of Google users like this film. 91% of Google users? Yeah. There you go. Google, oh, great eye. My mum uses Google, but I don't think she probably would like this film. No, no. Uh, or maybe she just presses things, thumbs up, just randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Whatever. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs like, up. yeah, why not? Yeah, I love a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. Right. Uh, I was saying earlier on that I don't know what we where we go from here. Um, well, I would say, but, yes, I think I, I've got an idea in terms of uh, what we're going to do. No, I, I will say, right, so we're, I, I'm going to say just now, we're going to go with whatever your idea is. Okay. But my links were going to be either looking at the screenwriter who's done a hell of a town stuff, mm-hmm. see what else he's done. Well, the thing is, this is going to be, this, for me, this is just a break in the chain, right, okay. so you can definitely come back to that. So it's a break in the chain? Yeah. You're going for a break in the chain? Yeah. And then, okay. then, 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 then reinvigorating the chain. Well, what I'm thinking is, we should either, when we go for the chain again, it should either be a slasher. Yep. Yeah. Or a film featuring a wheelchair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think that's what we need to go for. That's fine. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> the idea I've had, as we were getting confused uh-huh. beforehand. Um, oh, we could just actually change some massacre. It's got a good wheelchair. Wow. Well, ah, there we go. There we go. It's a doubler. Ooh. It's a doubler. Because oh. I was thinking... Um, <clears throat> 
<laughs> if anyone listens to this, and obviously you you probably see our little uh, logo thing pop up um, on whatever platform you're listening on, and you'll probably be slightly confused that we are surrounded by horror figures on a couch, and yeah. we've only covered one of them. Yes, we have. Toxic Avenger is the only one we've covered. Toxie, old Toxie. So we have uh, Leatherface. Yep. Uh, we TGM. have Herbert, Ash. Herbert West. Herbert West. We Ash. And Ash. as I was talking about with your Day of the Dead, we also have Flyboy as a zombie. Yes. So I'm thinking we might actually cover the films that are on our little artwork before we get back into the chain. Uh, because I think uh, what well, I said to Stevie with the idea was to make the um, characters on it a bit more left field because I think we generally cover more left field stuff. Um, but let's get back in there and just cover some of the classic stuff that Stevie has created in the artwork off, yes. off his own back. So we're saying it's a little like a little mini deal. Are we getting the hovercraft out? The hovercraft will need to be commissioned. Excellent. Right, so we're going for a couple of side missions. It's going to be. It's going to be. A, it's going to have side mission hefty in a way. Yes. Um, a series of. Uh, I think. Yeah. It's a basically a raid up a river. <laughs> it's going to be like. A, Is that what they call it these it's, days? It's going to be. It's going to be like a apocalypse now. Yeah. Yeah. Just with less mm-hmm. helicopters. Yes, no helicopters at all because you've lost your license. Yeah, no, only just got it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to stop fucking drinking at nine in the morning. Jeez, well, I didn't think it applied to helicopters. If you'd st- <laughs> I don't know, who'd have thought there'd be a fucking policeman where we landed? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was just cars. Bad luck. It was just cars, man. <laughs> well, you know, no one died, and that's the main thing. Um, that's true. A few, some were injured. <laughs> And some are in wheelchairs, but other than that, we're all good. Well, that's good for this podcast. Um, so we're going to not even tell you what we're going to cover next. We're going to decide after we stop recording this. But it's going yes. to be one of the characters' films off our little artwork logo that Stevie kind of. Spo- I don't know why I keep saying Stevie because he never he doesn't listen to podcasts. So he doesn't give a fuck. Um, I'm going to call him. But he's a friend of the podcast. Yeah, I'm going to call him a big bum bugger or Stevie. I can, we can call him anything you like. like. Just call him anything you like. Say anything you like about him. He would like that. He, he would, would enjoy that. And we call him a cum drizzling goblin. Stevie. <laughs> I'm going to call him uh, a Stevie who likes to lick the feet of tramps whilst bumming them. I'm going to call him Stevie. The guy that hides behind a curtain, wanking whilst you're not looking, but wants you to look, and then makes you look anyway, and then comes in your eye. I want to call him oh, Stevie. Sorry, that's enough. Um, uh, too, this is too too many horrors. Too many horror stories here. Right, right. We're gonna we're gonna leave it for now, but we're gonna come back. And we're gonna record next week as well. Yep. And we're gonna record every week. I think we so. Might even yep. Record more than once a week. Who knows? It's madness <laughs> in the run up to Christmas, and then we'll start the chain again. Oh, and we can do a Christmas episode as well. And we'll come back. We'll, what we'll do is we'll link back onto the chain with Texas Chainsaw Massacre because it does actually link up. Okay, well, I think that let's make, let's make uh, our Texas Chainsaw Massacre the last one of the weird things that we're doing. Yeah, not not weird. It's a, it's a fucking massive classic. But um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So there's uh, if you're aware of our little avatar, then we're going to cover all those motherfuckers. Uh, Evil Dead Happy could be days. a very interesting one. Yes. Could we go insane and do a triple? Well, I recently got Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 in 4K. There you fucking go. <laughs> could uh, could be double belt. a triple episode. Oh, holy shit. Imagine Thanks. such a thing. Madness. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Well, let's, let's, well, well, we'll, t- well, I'll tell you what, we won't bore you with our thoughts. Um, we'll just let you get on with your lives and we'll talk about yep. it after we've pressed stop. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for listening and uh, enjoy A Bit of Blood if you've not seen it before. Totally. Join us for our little mini classic series, our little uh, uh, Heart of Darkness journey up to see Colonel Kurtz. You know who <laughs> Colonel Kurtz is, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's fucking Jesus. Doc. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's Doc. <laughs> <laughs> right, let, let's and Dennis Hopper is uh, Dave. Uh, oh, you really could be actually. 
It's fucking wild, man. Just put a wee, just a wee tat on his shoulder. Absolutely job done. Oh, God. Madness. Absolutely madness. Uh, so basically we're going to, yeah, Texas James Bus will be like, like a documentary on people that we know. Um, yeah. But that'll be fine. So yes, we yeah. shall uh, leave you to go on your lives and I hope they are bearable at best and at worst slightly less I hope than it's bearable. So <laughs> yeah, totally, I know. I'm no, sure it's it'll be fine. Just, get, just, get, like just ordering a bunch of beers, fucking watch some films. Watch everyone, some everyone, fucking horror yeah. films. If you're, if you're sitting there and you're locked down, then you know what to do. You know what to do. We advocate it. Let's get let's get it done. Get your beers and get your films watched and we'll um, come and ruin them for you. Superb. Yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go and get our beer just now, and we will uh, see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. See you, bye.